Hey, yep. Right, this is one of those sort of classic Uncle Stu videos, just like he used to make back in the old days. A relatively inexpensive, simple, but very clever little product that promises to be an absolute game changer for motorcycle chain lubing. Now, for the most part, this isn't going to be a very long video. I just don't know how I can stretch this one out, but... I will start the video off by just covering a couple of things off. First of all, this channel over the last 28 days has had a record number of views, 1.1 million. And I think we're only two, maybe three weeks away from hitting the 100,000 subscribers mark. Now, I have been sort of carefully covering political issues over the last sort of two years on this channel. I say carefully because I only include sort of, if you like, political content that pertains to motorcycling or motoring in general. Because, you know, this is a sort of motorcycle lifestyle channel, so you need to know what's going on in the world that may affect your ability to travel around on a bike in the future. Now, this makes perfect sense to me because it's fully within the remit of the channel as I envisioned it, you know, going back six years ago. But we always get a bit of a pushback from some people who just want to see videos like this or they want to see reviews of motorcycles. It's a difficult balance for me. I try to please everyone, but, you know, you can't please everyone. That's just a fact of life. And I do get a lot of complaints whenever I put anything sort of slightly political um up on the channel now one thing i am becoming painfully aware of is that this channel does progress a lot quicker when i include that sort of political type content and if you want to stay relevant on youtube you do need to keep pushing those sort of boundaries you know turning out the same content year after year doesn't work now, having said that, it's not my intention to turn this into a political channel. I'm still going to continue to try and balance things out. But be aware, uh, I am going to continue with that sort of content, mixed in with this sort of content and bike reviews and gear reviews, as well as my usual philosophic ramblings on certain things, you know, regarding bikes. This world is in the craziest state I've ever seen it in my half a century or so, you know, in existence. And I think it would be foolish to continue to ignore it. Right, let's get on to the main subject of today, chain maintenance. Now, I have to give all credit for finding this particular product to uh, one of my viewers, The Moog, who bought a job lot of these on, I think it was AliExpress or something like that. He had to buy a number of them in order to get them at a decent price, so he asked me if I wanted one, and he passed it on. So, well spotted, Moog. Now, I will include an Amazon UK link to this particular product. It's very difficult to find because it's been given a really odd name. Um, even though I had one in my hand and I knew what it was for, no, it didn't matter what I searched for, I couldn't find it. And it's actually listed as oil storage, which is a bit bizarre. And is probably one of the reasons I wasn't aware of it. Although, to be fair, I don't have the time to research new products that I used to have back in the old days. For the most part, I have a sort of waiting list now for companies that want me to review products. So, you know, it's not like it used to be. I sort of miss that in a way. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like chain maintenance. Personally, I mean, don't tell the police, but I quite enjoy it. It's a ritual that I enjoy going through every couple of weeks or so during the summer yeah it's a messy job but i do get a great sense of achievement when you know when it's complete now this video relates to actually lubing your chain so you know i'm not going to go through the rigmarole of cleaning your chain and adjusting it lubing your chain is a messy laborious job it's actually the inside of your chain, usually on the bottom rung, that needs lubricating. The rollers that come in contact with the sprocket and your side plates, it's um, 
centrifugal force as the bike is actually traveling that throws the lubrication to the low parts of the chain or the outside edges of the chain to protect it from corrosion and keep it running smoothly now in the past as you can see here the way i've always done it is i've put a piece of cardboard or some sort of barrier between the chain and the rear wheel so you don't end up lubricating your back tire and generally keep mess to a minimum now this is laborious because i can only do sort of four or five inches at a time if i had three hands it wouldn't be so bad but i then need to put the can down or the uh, cardboard down turn the wheel for the next little section and continuing that way i think generally it takes about five minutes to properly lube the chain without making a complete mess it's the way that i've done it for years because you know there is no other way of doing it or there wasn't until now now this might not work on every make and model of motorcycle in existence the big problem that i foresee is multi-cylinder bikes with two exhausts and the position of those exhausts in relation to the chain might exclude you being able to get this in properly now this is a precision plastic molded uh, device it's got tabs on either side of the handle part which are used to insert the actual can of aerosol lube and then at the other end you have a container for catching excess lube with a guard for ensuring that the lube goes into the container and not all over your back wheel it's a clever and simple design the only modifications that you need to make to the nozzle on your aerosol lube is if at the end you've got a very long nozzle you're going to need to shorten that a stout pair of scissors is usually all that's required uh, and i'm just showing you for demonstration purposes here i would recommend that you actually offer this up to the bike to gauge exactly where you need to cut it you don't want to end up cutting it too short for no reason now on some bikes like my classic 350 uh, you can leave the can uh, attached to the collector or the speed luber because you've got really easy access but on some bikes here i'm showing you the classic 500 because the exhaust's sort of in the way i found the best way to do it was to insert the speed luber first and then attach the can to it then gauge where your nozzle needs to be cut and give it a snip ideally you need it so that the end of the nozzle is about two centimeters away from the top of the rollers on the inside run of your chain you then put the speed luber in place of course you've just got one hand operation for the speed luber and the aerosol which leaves the other hand free to turn the wheel and then you just spray now unfortunately this take didn't go according to plan because the can actually ran out halfway through this was the first time i'd ever used it so it did take a, a bit of adjustment on my part to acquire if you like the required technique uh, for doing this quickly and smoothly but i reckon you can loop an entire chain in less than 30 seconds which is a huge improvement over the uh, you know the other way that i normally do it it does feel a little sort of unwieldy at times you know you've got to adjust the height of the can in the can holder and adjust the placement of the guard in relation to the chain otherwise it will snag the chain but once you've got it exactly right it just makes the whole job effortless and super quick now i did find on this first try that um you know i had perhaps used an excessive amount of lube but my hands were lube free which normally the back of my hand that's holding the cardboard is caked in lube when i finished everything is caught inside the cup at the bottom with no excess lube on the rear wheel or tire this is a game changer for me no mess on my hands no mess on the back tire and as just as importantly no mess on the drive directly under the rear wheel so it cuts out any need for spreading newspaper or plastic sheeting on your drive and a task that is normally a laborious one sort of carried out in what about a tenth of the normal time i feel like we're living in the future
Right, as I said, I will leave a link to an Amazon page if you want to, uh, you know, take a chance on one of these for your bike. And once again, a big thank you to the Moog. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this and my other videos and in doing so, helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would feed the YouTube algorithm by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And don't forget, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and ensure that your notifications are enabled. That way, hopefully, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. I am, of course, going to be back on Friday, so until then, please ride safely, and I'll see you soon. Actually, I've just timed that last segment from me first pressing the spray to um, stopping 32 seconds. I'll let it play out again. See you on Friday.